Hi, all canoes and kayaks will need a water usage stamp. Even non-residents will need a stamp if they are in Illinois public waters. To buy a water usage stamp, you will need to have your hull ID number. This is the kayak I just purchased and here's your hull ID number. And you'll also need your model number, the maker, there you go, and the color of the uh, boat or craft. If you uh, do not have an IDNR customer number, you will need to get one. And to get one, you'll need to also have your name, address, phone number, driver's license, and social security number. I recommend having all this information written out on a piece of paper that can be handed to the person getting your stamp. And the stamp can be gotten typically at uh, most sporting goods stores or uh, my neighborhood Walmart was able to do this for me as well. The stamp has three parts. <clears throat> the stamp came to me uh, in this fashion, somewhat like that. <clears throat> The square part with the large bold numbers designating the year is the portion that must be displayed on the craft. Tear it off and follow the adhesive instructions. The other two squares are the proof of purchase retained by you. Uh, this is very important. The stamp itself is not adhesive. Uh, here's the other parts. The other parts are pretty much the same. And you can see it's kind of like a... Uh, uh, or waterproof material, right? It's not really paper, it's kind of plasticky, but that's what you get. And you'll notice the back side has no adhesive at all. <clears throat> so, the store itself, or whoever you get your stamp from, should give you a card. And this is what it looks like. Something like this. This has been used. I used it uh, earlier today to apply my sticker. The adhesive material is quirky. Instead of the stamp having a sticky side like any other stamp you're accustomed to working with, this process is very different. The adhesive pad, that's this thing here, is about twice as large as the stamp. And you can see that here. <clears throat> see how it's twice as large? The part with the written instructions, which is what you're seeing here, is facing you, is peeled back. And just like these written instructions here, you would take it <clears throat> Peel this portion back like this and you'll reveal this. This is the sticky side here and this is the uh, non-stick area, okay? And you'll take your sticker and you'll put it in face down, facing away from you so that the back of the sticker is facing you. <clears throat> and then you'll put this back down again over the top. Follow the instructions, get it uh, <clears throat> smooth it out, apply lots of pressure, wait the all allotted required time. And then you'll peel this back again, all right, and you'll have your sticker facing you on this side. <clears throat> and then what you'll do is you'll take your sticker and peel this back and pull your sticker off of this. And what uh, what will happen is when you pull this off, <clears throat> the sticker here will actually have, will have pulled away the adhesive from that, will pull away the adhesive from the back of this and now you'll have a stickiness on the back side of your sticker and uh, I put this up towards the front here and cleaned an area off and then I placed it on here as you can see it's on there pretty good which I was kind of surprised I've never seen anything stuck like that before so once again you've got your adhesive pad that they give you the store should give you this to you when you buy your stamp you peel this back when you peel this back here's your make believe this is your sticker place it facing away from you Stick it down in there, like that, and then you're going to sandwich it, bam, like that. Now when you have the sandwich, <clears throat> smooth it out, apply lots of pressure, and then after a lot amount of time, uh, I think it's about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, go back and you'll peel this away again. And this time when you peel it away, and you can see this other half I didn't use, it's got some sticky stuff on it, that's why that paper stuck to it. You'll have it stuck to this. And then you'll peel your sticker off of this and then place it on there. So that's about the uh, extent of it. <clears throat> Anyone knowing uh, any changes or improvements to this process, please post them in the comments section. Okay, I'm just uh, posting this because I had a lot of problems trying to wrap my mind around the instructions <laughs> with this uh, 
the instructions on how to stick this sticker, which is um, not, uh, the stamp, which is uh, doesn't have an adhesive back. <laughs> All right, good luck to you, and then enjoy the water once you're done.